important. There are people that are asking about um, olive oil versus other oils. I think you recommend olive oil because of the polyphenols, but if it's about taking uh, these synolytics with a fat, does it really matter if it's olive oil or something else? It shouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, you could mix it with some some Greek yogurt or coconut yogurt, just a, a little bit. You know, it's it's really a little bit. And what what's important to me is it doesn't raise my blood sugar levels. So I've, mm -hmm. I've worn one of these patches um, that allows me to see these spikes. And if you look at my blood glucose levels during my day, it's totally steady. Whereas someone who has breakfast and lunch is doing this and they feel good and then they're hungry. And they have this brain fog and then they go up again. So my liver is what makes most of my sugar during the morning. And that's what I, I care about mostly. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, olive oil is, I think, the best oil because it also has high levels of oleic acid. And oleic acid has been shown to activate the sirtuins like NAD does and resveratrol does. Mm -hmm. um, and so I include olive oil. But in terms of dissolving those polyphenols, those senolytics and, and the resveratrol, uh, any oil should work as long as it doesn't, those powders don't sink to the bottom of the liquid. You're mm -hmm. probably good to use that. Um, I've even tried, I like to mix up my diet like anybody else. I've tried olive oil plus a bit of vinegar and a basil leaf in the morning. It's like drinking a, uh, what do you call it, salad dressing in the morning. Uh, that one lasted for about a month. I've given up on that. I now like this coconut yogurt that you've turned me on to actually. Mm -hmm. um, but mostly, yeah, I think that as long as it's, it's not crunchy, you'll be fine. So yeah, because you had mentioned that it's like concrete and there was a couple questions about that. Like, what does that mean it becomes concrete? Is that the way your body processes it, the way it takes it in? Is it not um, bioavailable in that form? That's right. What you just said is the right term. It's not bioavailable because it comes in these crystals and these very crunchy little crystals. And in water, they'll just sink to the bottom. And in your gut, they'll just flow straight through. And mm -hmm. we know this from dog and animal studies. And so you need to make it soluble and and resveratrol and these other molecules in plants are normally carried around in the plant because the plant puts sugar onto them and then they're soluble but when they get extracted by the manufacturers the sugar is taken off or they don't pull those ones out and you're left with this insoluble solid crunchy material that doesn't get into the body if you just eat it mm -hmm. without anything else